Hey everybody, it's Pastor Logan here to bring you a few quick updates about what's going on here at the church during the COVID-19 lockdown. A few things that are really important. One, if you've been trying to keep up with us on Sunday mornings and watch our, our electronic services on Facebook or YouTube, you've recently experienced some frustration, am I right? So one of the ways that we're trying to help that situation this week is all of the services, both the kids' service and the main service, are going to be available all day on Sunday, starting about midnight. What we're gonna do, though, to try to create a sense of community is host a watch party on our page at 1015 for the kids' service and at 1045 for our main service. So if those times don't work for you, you can watch the content at your leisure. But to try to have some sense of community, to see other people engaging, to allow us to comment and like and share while it's all going on, we're gonna host a watch party. We have just found, as well as many other churches and organizations, that Facebook Live and their premiere parties are not working when so many churches are trying to go live. So this is our attempt to limit the issues we're having on Sunday mornings. Just pray with us that it works. So you'll want to engage us this Sunday, both for the kids' service, for a really important announcement from Pam about a children's activity for the whole week, and then for the main service as well. Secondly, Easter is on the horizon, and folks, we're not going to be able to meet in person. I know it's crazy. I know it's heartbreaking. It's the year that COVID-19 canceled church services on site in 2020, but they can COVID-19 cannot cancel Easter. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. And we're going to celebrate it anyway. So still join us for our online platforms for our Easter services this year. It's the best we can do during this time. But you should be getting a little uh, thing of goodies if you've got kids in your home uh, for this time to help participate. One really cool and unique way that we're asking our entire church to participate as a community during Holy Week, which is the week leading up to Easter Sunday, is through a group text connection. Here at the branch, one of the ways that we do discipleship is by reading our Bible in small groups, usually just one or two people, uh, reading the same passage throughout the week and then connecting at some point during the week and asking questions like, how did God speak to you this week? And how is he asking you to live differently as a result? And then even following up to hold each other accountable on some of these spiritual goals that we have. So here's what we're doing for the week leading up to Easter. That is starting this Sunday, Palm Sunday. It will actually go through Holy Monday, which is the Monday after Easter. We have put together an entire a devotional set of texts for you. So actually, at the bottom of this post, you will see a link. You can click on that and it'll open up a PDF. So you can save that to your phone or to your computer and read it electronically or print it off. These are individual sections of scripture for each day, starting on Palm Sunday, moving through Monday. We're all gonna read those together. We're gonna journey to the cross and to the empty grave as a community during the week leading up to Easter. It should be awesome. But we're not just giving you scripture readings. Your board members, that's right, the people you have elected to help lead the church, are going to be leading devotional thoughts about those texts every day. So you can join us on our Facebook page at 1230, that is during your lunch hour, every day, Sunday through the Monday after Easter, to get a devotional thought on that text. So be sure to be reading that in the morning or maybe in the evening before you go to bed and tuning in every day to hear what your leaders at the branch felt like God was saying to them and how he was asking them to live differently as well. Hey, it's a joy to be serving you even this, during this crazy time. Continue to pray for us as we are praying for you. If you have needs or hear of needs, communicate them to us. We want to be a service during this time. So here's to being the body of Christ scattered during COVID-19. Still the body of Christ, still serving on mission for him and still pursuing him with our whole hearts.